All right, guys, today we're going to look at salt's effect on freezing point. As we're well aware, we're in the middle of winter and we've had lots of snow. And we know as soon as there's snow, they get the snow plows out, but also behind the snow plows are dropping salt. And I think most of you would say, oh, well, yeah, uh, salt will, you know, melt the ice. Well, realistically, what it's doing, it's lowering the freezing point, which is technically the same as melting the ice. Um, what I want to do today is we're going to do an experiment and we're going to show how we know uh, salt, we'll just stick with what we're familiar with. This is so, uh, regular salt from table salt, it's sodium uh, chloride, sodium chloride. And as you know, sodium, um, when sodium and chloride come together, they form an ionic bond, right? And when you put sodium chloride into water, it separates, it separates into the two ions to a sodium positive cation and a chlorine negative anion. And what it does is it, it actually gets between the water molecules because when, when water freezes, it forms these bonds and, it, and sodium chloride gets between the bonds. So it like breaks the bonds. And if we break the bonds, now the water can't freeze. So that's sort of a real quick simplified. So here is today's lab. You're gonna actually get this lab and you're gonna have to go through this, listen to it, pause it, and fill in the data table, answer the questions. So that's kind of how we're gonna do it now. So here's what I have going on. I've got two beakers of snow. So this is snow from outside, you can see that. And I've got salt and I've measured out the salt in terms of uh, 20 milligrams each. Okay, so there's 20, 20, 20, 20. All right, so what we wanna do is, we're gonna have two groups. We're gonna have the control group. That's just gonna have the snow and the water. That's it. And then this is gonna have the snow and the water and the salt, okay, and the salt. So as you can see, we got 100 mLs of water in each one of these. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put 100 mLs of water in here, okay? And I'll put 100 mLs of water into this one. Now, I'm going to get a spoon, and I'm going to stir this for about 30 seconds. So if I have a watch, can I do this? Yep, there we go. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to stir this for, like, crunch this up here. I do the same thing with this. So can you see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm kind of alternating every five seconds on each one. See what's going on? Okay. Here's the other side. All right. All right. So we got that. All right. So control group, experimental group. Now what I want to do is we want to get a temperature. So this is going to be initial temperature. This is initial temperature. There's salt in neither one of these. So I'm going to put it down here. And this is Celsius. And if you can, you see that Mrs. Porter, as I put it in there, watch the alcohol plummet. Can you see that? All right. I'm going to go get a stopwatch. My stopwatches first. I don't know where they're at. Yeah. All right, so you got that. And if you can see, both of them are roughly, they're both sitting there around zero, aren't they? Maybe that a hair below zero? It's about zero, is it not? Yeah. Okay, and this one the same way? Yes. Okay, so perfect. So we got those two. Now, here's what we're going to do. This one, we're going to leave just as it is, water, 100 grams of water and, and, and snow. And now with this one, we're going to add 20 grams of salt and then start to stir it. So I'm gonna add 20 grams, and I'm gonna stir it. Same thing for, maybe for time intensive purposes, it won't be a full 30 seconds, but let's just see what happens here. And you can see, look at the difference. Can you see how between these two, look what's already happening, see the two? It's still real crunchy, this is starting to melt. All right, let's put the thermometer in there. 
gone up because it's outside. Now let's watch this. Watch it plummet. And when it appears to like it's not going down anymore, that's the temperature we're going to say we have for the 20 grams of salt for the very first one. What's it look like it's at, Mrs. Porter? Is it like a minus six? There's zero, yeah. so minus five, minus yeah. six. Okay, so we're going to say it's minus six for group B, 20 grams of salt. Let's do this next, and we look at this one. It's still sitting there at zero. Right, zero, because it's no salt added. All right, here's 20 more grams. Let's throw it in there and start stirring it again. Holy cow. All right, let's pop this in there. So it was at minus six. Now let's see where it goes. It's going down. It's going down. Can you see that? Is that better like that maybe? It's fine either. Can you see okay? Yeah. It looks like it's at about. Is it about minus nine-ish? Yeah. Minus nine? Yeah. All right. Let's put in 20 more grams. See if we can drop this even more. Because there is a threshold. There's, there's, a, there's a point where salt will no longer. Now remember, this is sodium chloride. Um, on the streets, they put calcium chloride, I believe, another type of salt. But this is just table salt. But there will be a point where it doesn't lower it anymore. And at that point, they stop putting salt on the streets. You know, like when it gets really crazy cold like it is now, they'll stop putting salt, and if they have sand, they'll put sand, because sand creates friction. It doesn't melt the ice, but it creates the friction. All right, so this is, this is now, oh, this is the third time. That's 60 grams of salt. Let's see what happens to this now. Still going down, isn't it? Slowly but surely. Can you see that pretty good, Mrs. Porter? Yeah, does that help when I do that? I don't know if you can see it better. Yeah, it's it's fine. So it looks like it's about minus, I don't know, going like this. About 13. Minus 13. All right, so that's 60 grams of salt. Let's go one more. Let's see if we can get this to drop any more. So it looks like a minus 13. All right, here we go. I'm gonna throw this in here. Stir it again. What's cool about this, you'll start to have frost actually start to form on the outside of this. Stir, stir, stir. And look at the control group, right? You can see a big difference between the two. So that, obviously, it's still sitting there at zero, right? It hasn't dropped. But this is just ice or snow. And now this is 80 grams of table salt, NaCl. And let's put her in there now. See if we can go any lower dropping fast again. And you can see the rate at which it drops keeps increasing. I wanna say, I wanna say the lowest we recorded. Now guys, remember this is Celsius. This is Celsius, so Fahrenheit, um, oh dear, Fahrenheit, this could be minus 15, maybe minus 20 degrees Celsius? Maybe around 20 degrees Celsius negative. 20 degrees Celsius? I think so, something like that, to do the math. Oh, look where we're at now, Mrs. Porter. Looks like we're at what, at least minus 16? Yeah. 
minus 16. God, I wonder, can we go lower? Let's Here. see if we can go lower. Do you think we can? Let's try it. All right. I'm going to put it over here because we know this will measure up by 20 grams. I still got time. It's still going. What? The yes. Phone's still working, right? Yep. All right. All right. A little above. All right. That'll work. Here we go. Here we go. 20 more grams. This would be 100 grams of salt. See if we can get drop it below. I think we had negative 16. Negative 16. So that was uh, 80 grams of salt total. Total of 80 grams of salt. We're putting them in in increments of 20 grams. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. We're speeding this up, guys. Normally we'd wait a full minute. So we'll see. Let's see what happens here. Drop it. Yeah, I'm starting to get ice forming on the outside of the speaker. That's good. But we get to a point where it doesn't drop anymore. And it's at that point where up in locations like high in the mountains or up in the Arctic or Antarctic where they'll start putting sand. I shouldn't say the Antarctic, the Arctic. And that's for the friction. It does not melt the ice. But salt, sodium chloride, or calcium chloride is no longer effective. So what's that look like it's at? I'm not sure if it, did it get to minus 17 or no? It's, Still at minus between the two? It's close to 17, but not too. Okay, so the last one was negative 16. Maybe this is negative 16.5-ish? No, I'd say 17. Negative 17. 17. Okay, so that's probably the thrush point. That, that's as low as it goes. It's negative 16 degrees Celsius, and you guys are going to have to calculate Fahrenheit. All right, so... Uh, that's the lab for salt's effect on freezing point is remember it gets in between it breaks into its ion sodium and chlorine and breaks gets between the bonds so that water molecules cannot form a bond which then creates the crystal. All right, perfect. Thank you.